Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. Today, how to fix an old clock and put a new wire on it. If you bought an antique, uh, perhaps it's a lamp or a clock or something that has electricity going into it and the cord is all beat up, I'm gonna show you how to put a new cord on the thing. Right? So my sister bought this clock. It's a uh, Bakelite on the outside and a really cool dial and the street, not street, what's this one called? Days change down there. But the cord is in really poor shape here. Uh, there's bare wires coming out. So we're going to replace that. And to do that, we're going to take the screws off the back here and put a new wire in. All right? Eric First wouldn't let me plug it in. No. First of all, make sure it's unplugged. Okay? A little safety tip there. So we'll remove the screws on the back. Take all your screws and put them in a little bowl or something so you don't lose them. Okay? Wow. Here's your clock face. Here's the motor. And the wires go in the back and they come out right here. Go to your local hardware store and buy some lamp cord. What I like about these is that the plug comes pre-connected to the cord and you can select how long the cord can be. You know, So think about where the clock's going to go and how long it is to the electrical outlet. These are called push connectors, and we're going to use these to connect the old wires to the new wires. So you don't have to do any stripping or soldering or wrapping of tape. These are really nice for that kind of thing. Here's the old wire. We're going to cut the old wire back here, where the wire is still in good shape. And we're going to bring the new wire in. Cut that. Cut that. New style plugs are polarized. This has a thicker lug on it than this one does. It kind of has these little things that stick out. So this is make sure you put it into your outlet properly. It's called a polarized plug. A lot of your older plugs don't have that. If it by chance does, you want to wire it like for like. In other words, wherever this the polarized lug on this wire went to, you want to have the same thing on the new wire. The polarized lug, that wire, goes to the same place in the clock. Does that make sense? That did make sense. I never knew they were called lugs though. I just called them pokey things. Poke, the pokey things. <laughs> a lot of these uh, replacement cords come already stripped and we're going to cut that off. But it's nicely split like that. Why did we cut it off? It looked ready to use. <laughs> because we're going to use these push connectors that don't require any bare wires. Take your new wire and feed it through the back of the clock. So now we're going to tie a knot in this. Push the knot down. Because... So when someone pulls on the cord by accident, it doesn't pull the connection apart. Now you take your connectors. So we have our push connector. Old wire goes in on one side. And then the new wire goes in on the other side. Like that. Then you take your pliers, and you see this has this metal spade here sticking up. Push that down, and that electrically connects the new wire to the existing wire. And then you fold this clip over like this, snap that shut, and it is wired. Wow, I'm impressed. So this is called a push connector, and the beauty is you don't have to strip wires, you don't have to wrap any tape or anything. Just one wire goes in this side, the other wire goes here, and you push it closed, and it's done. Wow, who invented that? Not me, but... <laughs> Existing wire goes here, new wire goes there. Take your pliers, press that like that. Bring this over. And it snaps like that. And now you've got existing wires connected to new wires safely inside the clock. Thank you. Hard at work here in the kitchen. 
put it back together, ready for our plug. Is it supposed to do something? <laughs> it does have a second hand, so it should sweep. I think it's a sweeping second hand or a clicky second hand. Maybe we should read the directions on the back of the clock. There we go. <gasps> there you go. Oh, Beautiful, huh? That's terrific. This is called an empire style clock. And the font is nice. Yeah. All right, there you go. Easy, simple, make sure it's unplugged from the wall. Pay attention to if it's a polarized plug, but they're called push connectors really simple. If I can do it, you can do it. There's more DIY and how-to, cooking, gardening, beekeeping, how to make your own maple syrup kind of stuff on our site, gardenfork.tv. You can also join us on Facebook, Twitter, Google, Pinterest, you know, wherever there's a social media site, we're hopefully there. We've got a lot of fun stuff and I love hearing from you. So Eric at gardenfork.tv. If you're watching on YouTube or iTunes, you click the subscribe button, that'd be great. All right, see ya.